Hi, my name is Kathy Reisenweber, After School Program Facilitator with the Girl Scouts of West New York. And today we're going to use some tin cans and show you two different ways that you can use them. So the first one that we're going to do is going to be a bee house. So you have your tin can and you're going to make sure that it's washed out properly. Make sure it doesn't have any sharp edges. Um, so your mom and dad may want to help you with this to make sure that there's no sharp edges on your can. So if you're recycling, you can get them out of your recycle bin. And you're also going to take off the label. Okay, Even if it has a little bit of glue that's stuck on there, that's fine. Um, just try to get all the paper off because this is a bee house and they will be outside. Okay, So that's one of your items that you need is a tin can. The other things that you're going to need for your supplies are going to be permanent markers okay so any colors that you choose there if you choose to decorate your bee house if you don't you're going to leave it natural you can do that you're also going to need paper so this is just like a computer paper you could use construction paper you can use bamboo if you had that um, just small um, thin strips of bamboo and you wouldn't need to roll it you can use um, cardstock they're probably a little bit harder to roll, but you could use cardstock as well. You're also going to need scissors, so be sure to get your mom and dad to help you with scissors and you have permission to use the scissors. Make sure safety first. You will need ribbon, rope, um, twine, something that you're going to use to hang your bee house outside. So anything that you have available to hang your bee house that's what you'll need for that okay so the first things first is we are going to um, make all of these little tubes and you can see there's tubes in there okay so this is the paper rolled up oh, one other supply you need you do need tape so this is just regular um, scotch packing tape um, use what you have on hand okay so we're going to make about 30 of these fits in a regular size can. If your can's bigger, then you're going to need to make adjustments of when you're cutting your paper and um, how many you're going to go in there. Like I said, this can, roughly about 30 pieces. Okay, so your paper, these things that we're going to roll up, and I'll show you how to do that, they're going to fit inside your can. So you want it to go so it's not all the way to the end of it because we want this to be outside and as long as it's in the can and it's going to be on its side it's going to protect it from the elements a little bit so you want them to be smaller than your can when you're going inside so your sheet of paper if you just have the regular um, eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper you're going to fold it into thirds so how I like to fold it into thirds is kind of just make it so it goes a little round like that. And you can see the paper. And then you're just going to bring it down and flatten it. And it's not going to be exactly 100%, but it's going to be close enough to a third of your paper. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to open up your paper and you're going to cut on that line so you have three separate sheets. Okay, so for each sheet you're going to make approximately three of those tubes and those tubes are actually where the bees will go into and they'll lay their eggs and you'll know when they lay their eggs because you'll see that they'll cover the end of it so no animal can get inside of our insect can get inside of it okay so if we need about 30 so we're gonna do some math we need 30 of those and each sheet of paper can do three how many do you think how many sheets of paper do you think we need three 30 divided by three it's gonna give us third excuse me 10 <laughs> okay so that's what we have here 
So once you have your papers all cut, and you can cut them all at the same time, I'm just showing you, demonstrating one here. I did pre-roll some of these, um, so it does take a little bit. Um, it's actually not too bad. Once you start get get going, it's pretty good. So I have a marker um, here, so it's a little bit thinner than um, the bigger Sharpie markers. A pencil can work here. Um, anything that is about the size of a pencil or a pen. Okay, so these Sharpies are a little bit thicker. Um, I don't want those. I want the, a little bit smaller. Okay, I like to take the tape and we just need a little piece. I like to pre-cut these and I'm going to put them on my desk here just on the side and I'm going to cut just a couple of pieces because once I roll this it comes undone rather quickly so I want to be able to grab my tape because I need two hands to take my tape off so you're going to take your marker pencil pen and I like to use the cap as a way to guide so that's why I like using these markers okay so I'm just going to put it right on the end and I'm just going to roll this piece of paper on the marker and try to get it as tight as you can okay so you're gonna keep you're gonna keep your hand on that so it doesn't get off because if you take your hand off it comes up and now you have a like a little spring then I'm gonna take one piece of tape and just tape it right on that line just like that and that's all I need. Then I can pull it right off and I have one little tube. Right? And you're going to do that, oh, like I said, uh, about 30 more times. So you have about 30 of them. If you need more or less, depending on how thick your pencil or your marker is, you can make adjustments to that. Okay, so I'm going to do one more just to show you. I'm going to hold it. Just wrapped it around, hold it, place my piece of tape right in the middle, and then I can take it right off. Okay. So the next step is I would take your tin can and I would decorate it. Um, before you, you can put the papers in it at this point, um, but I find if you decorate it first, so like I did, I wrote B House, and I have some markers that I... Um, some flowers that I drew on there okay so you can decorate it as much as you want as little as you want and that's your bee house okay so now these papers that we have here you're going to place them in your tin can if you happen to have one that is too long that it comes out and I don't and actually this one is kind of too long so I can see it that it's really sticking out when I look at it from the side and you'll be able to see that so if it is really sticking out and it's too long you just take it see how much it's sticking out take your scissors and then you just cut the end off you get this little piece and now I can stick that back in there okay it's okay if they're different sizes um, the bees aren't going to care that they're different sizes. They just want someplace safe to put their um, eggs in. So bees are great for the garden because um, they're pollinators. So they go from flower to flower and they help um, plants reproduce. And we definitely need that. We need flowers, the vegetables, fruits, all of that. So bees are good to have around because of that. So I'm just going to keep sticking these in. Like I said, I had some of these pre-rolled and once you get to the end that you can see it's pretty full you don't want to squish them but you do want them tight so they don't jiggle around so you may need to put one more and kind of shake it if they're pretty tight in there and you can see how all those little holes look so they don't move around but they're not super tight okay and that's what you want and like I said it's about 30 um, give or take um, on how tight you roll and what you roll it around. Once that's done, you can take your ribbon, your twine, and I'm using here a red ribbon. 
and you may need help from an adult when you're doing this. Okay, and these also can make great gifts to people who are gardening. So if you have a neighbor who gardens or a grandparent, um, anybody, um, this is a great, a, a nice addition to someone's garden. Okay, so I'm going to tie it around the middle. Okay, and I can tie this into a knot. I can use um, hot glue, but be sure if you are using a hot glue gun that you are using precaution or you're asking your mom and dad to help you for so you don't get burnt. So just be aware that we're always using safety first. Okay, so there's my bee house, and you're going to hang this about six to eight inches off the ground off the ground so I would put this not just anywhere off the ground I would put it near flowers um, near your vegetable garden um, fruit trees maybe it's because you want that's where you want your bees to go so um, that's one project with your tin can so don't forget bees are great um, because they're pollinators and we need pollinators and the second thing that we're going to make is a bird feeder with our tin can now Again, birds can help with pollination as well. They eat seeds. Um, they may drop seeds off different places. Um, they go into the flowers. They sp help spread um, the pollen as well. And they're, they're gonna help with your gardens. They're gonna help with your fruits, vegetables, things like that. So another animal um, that you want in your places that you live. So in the tin can, so again the same process, make sure you're using safety, make sure that your mom and dad is checking this, there's no sharp, sharp edges, it's clean. So you need your tin can. Um, you'll also need Sharpies again, so you're going to reuse that same thing um, to decorate your, your bird feeder. You're going to use duct tape or you can just use ribbon or both. You also will need a, um, a stick you can gather from outside um, or you can use a dowel rod um, here I have a skewer that I'm using um, that I'll need to cut it so again if you're doing that with cutting make sure you ask your mom and dad um, to help you with things like that um, right now today while I'm doing this I was gonna grab a stick from outside but there's snow on the ground and everything was going to be wet so I used my resources what I had at home so I can make this craft with you Okay, right. so you can decorate it, and for your stick, whatever you're using, and for this one, I'm just going to break it up. The stick that you're using, you want it to stick out on this end, the open end of your can, because this is where the bird will land and go in and peck at this bird seed in your can. Okay, you would also need bird seed, and of course, not everyone has bird seed at hand, so you can make this craft. And then when your mom or dad go shopping, you can ask them if they can buy you some bird seed so you can hang this outside. So for this one, this is a really thin stick because it's just a skewer. I'm just going to break it back and forth, and I broke it. Okay. I'm going to use my duct tape, and I have just um, some fancy little duct tape here. Um, you can use any type of tape that you want on this and I'm just going to break off a piece and I'm going to put this so it holds down my stick just like that I could wrap it around if you want it to go all around I'm just doing it so hold my stick in place now again don't, this is going outside and I may need to use my scissors to cut this And then I can decorate this. And I can put my bird feeder. And I'm just going to write bird feeder on here. And I'm just going to do some squiggles for decorations. And I'm using Girl Scout Green. Okay. 
And you could also use these tin cans. Um, you can cover with paper, markers, and it can be a pencil holder, marker holder for your desk. So there's lots of things you can use this tin can for. And then, again, I would tie my ribbon. And I'm out of ribbon, but I think this may be enough so I can hang it outside. And I do have some DIY bird feeders outside already, and the birds are loving them because there's snow back on the ground. So I'm just going to tie this one again, just like I did with the bee house. But this one, I'm going to make sure that I hang up higher, okay? And then the bird seed would go in there. So you wouldn't fill this all the way up with bird seed. You would just put enough that it's not going to spill out. So if you fill it all the way up, you'll definitely be dumping it. And then you hang it up in a tree, and your birds will have some food. So I hope you enjoyed today. Um, happy Girl Scouting and some Girl Scout love. Thank you.